Hello guys, welcome to the new video. In this video, I want to talk about this new small features that I found in the Chrome OS 89. It might be that some of these features are, is not new, but I found them recently, so that's why I wanted to talk about. Especially, it can be that some of these features you can activate it using the flags. So, uh, no, uh, just to consider that this is a stable version of the Chrome OS 89, and I didn't activate any flags here. So let's get it started. First thing first, you can see that from bottom down there, you have the, in the shelf here, the files and the settings, they have a new icons. In, in general, the commerce applications have a little bit new icons. Next, if you go to the wallpapers here in the desktop, here you will have this imaginary part with new wallpapers, which are also nice and which you can also use, which I have it also one of them in the background. Now. Next, if you go to the settings here, in the device, in the keyboard part here you have some shortcuts part here keyboard shortcuts i don't know if it was there before but i was searching for that in the past i couldn't find it but now it is here and here now you can run, open this application and now you can find all the comments that you need for your shortcuts and also you can search for the shortcuts from top bar Next, if we go to the assistant here, I found that also recently, if you go to the Google assistant, if you say the magic Google word here, you can activate it. But if now if from here, you can also choose between unrecommended and then always on. The difference is when it's unrecommended, uh, when you're plugged and plugged in or you're charging, it will only get activated. Next, if you go to the developers, there you will find your net Linux part. So you can activate the Linux from the developers here. That's also they change the name here. Next, if you go to the printing part, there's now new native scanner application, which you can open and you can find your scanners and scan your documents. This was the main part for the settings. Next, I will go to the files here. There's one small part that I found also to be new. In general, you could uh, share your my files and the google drive with linux in the in the path if you already activated your linux you can go here and right click now you can use this share with linux and all of your files in the my files and also similarly in the google drive can be shared directly with linux files which can be useful if you open a, a linux application then you will see all of the documents inside of the google drive and my files next i will talk about the this pin to shelf part I've talked also in the last video but here also if you download something it will be shown here or if you take a screenshot it will be shown here and also you can come here right click and hide the previews and you can do the show the previews that's also a small feature there next I will come to the Google Chrome here if you want to move the window here Google Chrome window to new desktop. If you have multiple desktop open, first I will show that with three fingers swipe. I have, you, you guys can see that three desktop open, that, open up there. So if I want to move this completely in the upper bar here, I can, in the like a blank field, I can do the right click and do the move window to desk. And here I can use the Chrome. Now this will be moved between the Chrome and then I can use the four finger gesture to move that. And the four finger gesture also got better. Now you can stop easily between the desktops. But the main feature that I found, which was new for the Chrome OS stable version, if you don't enable the flags is editing the images. So if I come to the images here, one second i will go maybe here now i can find any picture that we can open it now i have this picture here now i want to edit it you guys can see that now we have the option with the lightning filter and also annotate here if i click that now i can use the different tools that i have here to also draw something here which can be also useful to uh, write something on the uh, pictures and also save them later now I will leave it like that. But this is good that we have this editing tool now integrated in the native gallery application, which can also be really useful. So that was it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you want to see the major features on the Chrome OS 89, go check my previous video. And hope to see you guys in the next video.